I think for me, inspiration is allowing myself to go to a place that's very quiet so that I can be in touch with everything that's going on inside of myself and then whatever message that is is allowed to express itself artistically through my photography. I think that the inspiration for my, my artistic skills really comes from my grandmother because she made my mother's clothes, her, my, the youngest daughter, she made her clothes and the clothes were very elaborate. They would be evening gowns, they would be wool coats. Um, when I got older, she taught me how to make these three-dimensional objects, flowers with, with beads, with glass beads. She, you know, I saw her making, she had already made some and I was very curious about it. And she said, well, we'll make them together. And we sat down and she showed me how to do it and, and she may even still have them somewhere. But even before that, I was always drawing and I loved to draw. Um, and, and I kept doing it until I was about 12. And I was told to stop drawing and painting because you're not studying. So it was taken away. But I said, OK, I'm going to find another way to express myself because I felt that I needed to express myself artistically. I took every single shop class that the schools had to offer. Um, I took the first oh, computer classes in high school where you learned um, binary code and even took that and learned how to create images of, of objects you know, using you know, the computer. And in high school, I learned drafting. And that sort of sent me in a direction of architecture um, because I was told that being an artist, you can't make any money. So I decided to seek a profession that was artistic that would allow me to express myself.